Hello and welcome folks. My name is Fake Fairy Tale and this is the seventh video in the Let's Build a Cave and Dungeon series. Now, last video, I said that I wanted to continue with the flooring and um, with the negative space. And as you can see, uh, I missed a part of my recording. That's well, what you get if you bind the stop recording to your spacebar, which you also use to navigate through this map. And I went out of my way and did the entire negative space and flooring without noticing that my recording was off. So unfortunately, I don't have an order save of this map or anything. So I'll just walk you guys through what I did and uh, how I did it. And then we can continue onwards from there. Now, the most part of it was mainly a time lapse. So not too much is lost, but uh, oh well, let's dive right in. The first thing I did is I expanded the flooring to all different areas. I purposely chose two different floor textures here and there to make sure that it's not the same type of tiles throughout the entire dungeon because that's kind of boring. We want to break it up a little bit. And then I decided to choose for somewhat kind of flagstone over here. Um, I'm still toying with the idea to adding in water in this room somehow. I think that could be very neat. And this room has some more of a more organized type of tile. It looks a bit cleaner, a bit better. And that will indicate the boss fight and that this room had some important purpose, uh, which is yet to be determined. Um, the negative space I did by placing down the... Let's see if we can search for the pattern in here. Yes, we have the 100% shadow pattern. I used that on layer 900 on top of the walls and I outlined the edges of the walls. And then in turn, I decided to use the shadow path tool, which was the double shadow path small 100 at about 0 0.35. And I used that to align, al align all these edges to get a soft transition between the, the walls and uh, the negative space inside. I also decided to hide these the secret doors a little bit. Because if a DM has this map in, for example, Albert Rodeo or Foundry, you don't want to accidentally already show the, the fact that there is a secret room there. Um, it's not very clear to read, but oh well, we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. And it does help to well, indicate that these rooms are actually secret and you can't just access them. So I did this all around the map, all the edges, also over here where the dungeon entrance is. And um, while I was at that, I decided to add a portcullis here as well. Because I think it would be cool to have a lever somewhere, maybe in this room all the way at the back here, that the party um, needs to pull in order to raise this portcullis. So they won't be able to go through that easily unless of course they have some materials to grant them access but that way you at least pull some resources from the party and that's also perfectly fine as well so what we have here are some uh, other patterns as well to let's see we can pull those up as well um over here go to the pattern shape tool we have the square grout which are these little plants over here to um, indicate the, the the dungeon being quite abandoned and uh, nobody has been here for a while. I, I added that in a multitude of places. Um, it doesn't work with the other tile types, unfortunately, so we're going to have to probably use some kind of blood um, on a very high alpha value and a bit of green to indicate some moss growth over there. And we have, of course, the uh, square tiles height map overlay. And at some places, I went over it like twice or three times to create some variation in the height difference in the map themselves. Now, that's basically what I've been doing. I am kind of a bummer that I didn't have the time lapse here. But you've seen me do this a few times before, so I think we can manage without. Uh, having said that, I have a question for you guys, and that's what you think that we should do with these rooms and what kind of furniture should be in there. Like I said, I think this is going to be some sort of main boss room. 
and this probably is some kind of study and for that i have no clue what i want to put in there so if you have any ideas or other suggestions for the other rooms please feel free to share i'm also curious to see what kind of monsters you would put in here and uh, see if you guys can come up with some kind of monsters that i uh, haven't thought of i'll be making a monster video where we add in the monsters to this dungeon also indicate the traps we'll do that at the end We'll probably mention it here and there already like I did with these um, these spaces over here. But that's something we'll leave for a different time. Now, for now, I think I want to add in... Oh, uh, one last thing, of course. I changed these up for walls. Because underneath here you have uh, objects, which are just curb objects. And they have a very different, distinct color. And I don't like it that much. So I decided to take the wall tool and we have the curb stone here as well but all the way at the bottom over here you're able to change the color up a bit and i added in a little bit of blue and blue is what makes um, tiles a bit more match a bit better with the walls it's a bit more gray instead of brown uh, if you want to make it a bit more brown of course you go to the like the red red and, and orange and you you set somewhere over here and you get a little bit more brownish that's overdoing it a little bit perhaps so over there yeah in case you want to make uh walls or tiles that are quite gray uh, a bit more brown now the general flow of this seems quite all right there are a few little tidbits that we want to clean up but that's something I i'll probably get to while working on the rooms uh, one by one and for this room we already know what we want here so we're gonna start with this one and for that, I want to add in some bars. And let's see what we have here. I believe that there was some kind of bar pathway that we could use very well. Turn up edit points. That's a shadow. We we'll also want to put it on, I think, layer two. And we're going to see if we can find it. go and see if we can add in some jail cells over here we don't want to make it too close to the door because otherwise and i see that we need to switch up the grid color as well because it's very hard to read right now map settings grid color will make it like obnoxiously white for now we can oh wait that's bothering me maybe a bit too much maybe we can make it a soft kind of red I think that works for now at least so that we have an indication of where the grid is so we don't want to place the fence too close to the doors because well otherwise people would be able to grab guards from uh, from within their cells and that's something they probably try to prevent at all times we have to turn on off the fade and I think I want the party to enter. Like this is the first um, first problem they encounter is a that they're in a jail cell. So then we have to go out of our way to fix the other map. I'm not sure if I want to do that actually. So we can place it in the center here. Make sure that we have plenty of space. I think that might actually already be quite spacious for a cell. So if we do it, yeah, we can make two like that. We'll add in a few pillars over here. And maybe if we change the um, last sections here for doors, cage doors. The off door is open because we were searching for the portcullis. We'll take the ones all the way at the bottom over here. Now, I'm somewhat curious because these bars don't look very rusty or anything at all. If we're able to find something that can fix that for us. Well, first we'll turn off the shadows. We'll place it in here. And we'll do the other way around over here. This one is actually going to be closed, I think. There we are. 
And let's see if we have some rusted bars here as well. I don't think we do. That's a bummer, really. Maybe if we have some objects. That could help us out. Like these could, that, that could work. This could work instead of these bars. And I think I'm going to try that out because these look way too new for what we're trying to do here is we're going to add in some pillars. Scroll down. I think this could work in here. And I'm going to need to see if we have like steel pillars that could go on top over here. And we need I believe they are here or at least somewhere. Yeah, we could do it like this. That works. I'll place one over there to uh, not remind me that this is, uh, yeah, yeah, this is good. Okay. So we're going to move it back up and we'll take these ones. I like those even better. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Cool. We'll place these down. Make sure that they're on size of one. And we'll center them here. There. There. And then we will remove the bottom one over there. They are on layer one. The door will be on layer two. And this one as well. Remove the bottom one. And we'll place these little ones on top of on layer four. And then we can use those bars that we had a minute ago as a sort of cell doors there we go and we could actually use these maybe that is actually even better because they are quite close together right now so we'll take away these and we're going to need a bar see if there's something else that we can use and we're going to search for something that can uh, it's like quite thin and we're going to have to scroll through a lot of different tools as well. But that's that's fine. I think we'll be able to find something soon enough. Because it's quite a distinctive shape. Put it on scale 1. Yeah, that might again be better. Yeah, that will look fine. We can add in some hay bedding and maybe a stool here and there. Something small. And I think that should do the trick. And I want to add in like some of the uh, metal cages. Larger ones. We can also use the quite, um, quite rusty. And if I can put them on layer. Uh, I think about it. I might just have used one of these potentially. And we actually still might. And we can place things in there. I'm not entirely sure what looks better. I'm curious to see what you guys think in the comments. Please let me know. Wow, we have some skeletons in there for later. Awesome. All right. I think this is where I would like to call the video quits for now. I think we've made some nice progress. It was unfortunate that I didn't record whole uh, setting things up but oh well um, I guess these, th these things happen if you like the video please hit the like favorite or subscribe button it really helps to get my video out there and uh, I hope to see you again in the next video